This OSCE video will guide you through what you should be looking for on a lower limb neurological examination in an OSCE scenario, followed by a full run through of what it should look like. Candidate instructions. Please examine this patient's lower limb neurological system and present your findings within six minutes. As you enter, wash your hands. Introduce yourself to the patient, including your role. Check the patient identity, gain consent, and ask for a chaperone if necessary. First check if the patient has any pain. Start with general inspection, looking at the general appearance of the patient, any muscle wasting, fasciculation, tremor or scars. Assess the patient's tone at the hips, knees and ankles, looking for any hyper or hypotonia. Also check for clonus in the ankles. Assess the patient's power in his legs, comparing both sides at the hips, knees and ankles and grading severity from 5 being normal and 0 being paralysis. Assess the patient's coordination by performing the heel-shin test, comparing both sides. Normal reflexes at the knees and ankles and perform a plantar reflex to check for Babinski's sign. Compare both sides as you go. Test the sensation in both the limbs from L1 to S1, comparing soft touch and hard touch. If you find any abnormalities, go back and map out the area. Check vibration sense on each foot by pressing a tuning fork onto the most distal joint on each foot and asking the patient to feel when the vibration starts and stops. Also check position sense by moving the toe upwards and downwards. Perform Romberg's test by asking the patient to stand with their feet together and to close their eyes and look for any balance abnormalities. Assess the patient's gait by asking them to walk normally, walk heel to toe, on their tiptoes and on their heels, looking for specific lesions. Conclude your examination by thanking the patient, checking perianal sensation and for anal tone. Summarise your findings and suggest a cranial nerve examination and lower limb neurological examination. Hello, my name's Sam. I'm one of the third year medical students. Can I check your full name and date of birth, please? Colin Craven, 26 of the second, 87. Just check that against your wristband. Thank you, Callum. Today I've been asked to do an examination of the nerves of your legs. This will involve me asking you to do some movements and checking the sensation of your legs. Would that be OK? That's fine. Before we begin, do you get any pain in your legs on movement? No. Thank you. I'm going to begin with a general inspection. There's a normal muscle bulk between the legs. There's no abnormal wasting, fasciculation, tremors or posturing, and I can't see any scars. I'm going to begin by testing the tone in your legs. If you can just let them go floppy for me. On the other side. So your tone appears normal on both sides. I'm just going to check for clonus. So there's 
no bonus on either side. And I'm going to check the power in your legs. So if you can lift this leg against my hands and push down against me. Same on the other side. And down against me. And push out against my hands. And in against my hands. You can lift this knee up for me. And press down on the back. Pull me towards you. And push me away. And the rest is down. And bend up the other knee. Pull me towards you. And push me away. Spine through. Blast out the legs. Pull your toes up to your face. And down to the floor. That's perfect. So it tones five out of five on both sides. I'm now going to check the coordination of your legs. So if you just let this leg go floppy, I'm going to ask you to bend your knee, take your heel to your knee, slide it down your shin, and then out to touch my hand at the side. So if you could do that for me. Touch to the knee, down the shin, and out to the side, and again. Perfect, and rest down for me. And the same on this side. So to the knee, down the shin, and out to the side, and again. Perfect, so the coordination is normal on both sides. And I'm going to check the reflexes in the limbs. You can bend up this knee for me and let me take the weight. So just let me take the weight. That's fine. Press that down for me. And this side. Let me take the weight for you. Thank you. You can bend this knee out to the side. I'm just going to check your ankle reflexes. And bend that knee. This might feel quite tickly. I'm just going to check your plantar reflex. It's a normal down going response on both sides. I'm finally going to check the sensation in your lower limbs. So when you feel this, I want you to say hard and this soft. Okay. And close your eyes for me. Tell me whether you feel hard or soft. sensation is normal throughout the lower limb. I'm now going to check your vibration sense. So when you feel this vibration start, I want you to say start and then stop when you feel it stop. So close your eyes for me. Stop. Stop. Okay, and the same on the other side. Stop. Stop. normal, thank you. I'm now going to check your joint position sense. So when you feel me move your toe upwards, I want you to say up, and down, I want you to say down. To close your eyes for me, say up or down. Down, up, down. That's fine, thank you. The same on the other side. So this is up and this is down. Can you tell me where it is now? Down, up, down. That's fine, thank you. Are you able to stand up for me? Just stand here. Face that way for me. Okay. If you can put your feet quite close together and close your eyes for me. So this is Romberg's test and there's no loss of coordination or sensation. That's fine, thank you. So now I'm going to ask you to walk towards me, heel to toe walking. Perfect. Thank you. And turn around. And on your tiptoes, walk back to where you were. Just checking for an S1 lesion. That's fine, thank you. And if you could turn back and walk on your heels towards me. And that would be difficult in an L4, L5 lesion. Thank you very much. You can sit back down for me. So thank you, Pam. That concludes our examination. In summary, this was a normal examination of the lower limbs. To complete the examination, I could also check the perianal sensation and perform a PR exam. I could also want to perform an examination of the upper limb, neurovascular system, and also cranial nerves. Thank you.